Hi dear students, we are going to continue with the multiplication of matrices of the second second lesson of multiplication of matrices. Here we are going to study about the properties and the powers of the square matrix. In general, a times b is not equal to b times a. If you remember, I said this sentence, and there are some specific cases which is a is equal to b or e a is equal to b or uh, a b is identity matrix. It might be in these cases. A times B might be equal to B times A, but in general it is not. And the second case here, if A times B is equal to 0, we cannot conclude that uh, either A is equal to 0 or B is equal to 0. This is not like real numbers. And here also there is a notation that it is in general. So A times B is equal to A times C, then it is not true that when you simplify the A's, you know B is equal to C. Here also we cannot conclude that one also. That's why uh, we have to be careful about these rules. Uh, we cannot simplify in uh, matrix multiplication. Here it's given as an example A is 1, 2 and closely multiply when you, I mean, if you apply the multiplication rule 1, 2 multiplied by the 2 and minus 1, it's going to be equal to 0 and you can get here 0, 0 matrix. At the same time, if you apply this one uh, here, if a is equal to here, uh, a times b is equal to 0, but a is equal to, let's say here, a is equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, then b is equal to 0, 0, 0, 2, and c is equal to 0, 0, 0, 3, then when we multiply a times b, we are going to find that a times b is 0, 0, a times c is equal to 0, 0, but as you see, b is not equal to c. So this is the, these are the cases. And here we have to be careful about the getting the power. Uh, this is the basic one, a to the power of 0 is equal to i. You know that one, identity matrix for the square matrix. This is also important here. Then a times a to the power of 1 is equal to a. This is normal. Then a squared is equal to a times a. Till this part, there is no problem. What is the problem here? I mean, actually, it's not problem. What is the rule? When you multiply the matrix uh, by itself, when you are getting the cube here, from the left side, you have to multiply, which means that a times a squared is equal to a cube, which means that a squared times a is not equal to a cube in general. Okay. A cube is in general because a times b uh, is not equal to b times c. Also, if you remember, a times b is not equal to b times c. In the previous video, I tried to show that one. So, if we have the a to the power of 4, what how we are going to get a to the power of 4? By help of a to the power of 3, but a times a to the power of 3 it should be. This is the correct way. Then, if we continue with the a to the power of n, on the left side it's going to be new matrix, a times a to the power of n minus 1. It has to be. Okay, this is the identity matrix property. Identity to the power of n, it should be equal to identity. That is not a problem, you know. A times identity is equal to I times A. a it should be also this was told before. And we are going to continue with some exercises here. Here we have the square and the cube of the matrices. So first I'm going to continue with the x square, which is equal to x times x for us. Then this is going to be equal to 2, 0, 1, and minus 1. And I'm going to uh, multiply by x again, 2, 0, 1, and minus 1. If you remember the rules here, we are going to do, we are going to multiply rows by the columns. That's why I'm going to keep it uh, with, I'm going to sign with this uh, highlighter to remind you about the rows by the columns rule. 2 times 2 is equal to 4. It should be 0 times 1. It's equal to 0. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. 0 times uh, 0 times minus 1. It's equal to minus 1. It has to be. And now we finish the first row. Now coming to second row. 1 times 2 is equal to 2. Minus 1 times 1 is equal to minus 1. And 1 times 0 is equal to 0, plus 
minus 1 times minus 1, it's going to be equal to plus 1. So our resultant matrix, which is equal to x squared also, 4 minus 1, uh, 1 and 1, we are going to get. But as you see, none of them is the square of the previous matrix. This is equal to x squared. I mean, x times x doesn't mean the square of these numbers. Okay, I'm going to find the y cube, but before finding the y cube, I have to find y square, which is equal to y times y. That's equal to 0, 1, 2, and minus 3, it should be. Then 0, 1, 2, and minus 3. Again, I'm multiplying. That's equal to y square, it's going, it's going to be. And 0 times 0, it's equal to 0. 1 times 2, it's equal to 2. 0 times 1 is equal to 0. 1 times minus 3, it's equal to minus 3, it's going to be. 2 times 0 is equal to 0. And minus 3 times 2, it's equal to minus 6. 2 times 1 is equal to 2. And minus 3 times minus 3, it's going to be equal to uh, 9. Then it's equal to, here it's, we are going to write here like this, which is equal to which is equal to 2, minus 3, and minus 6, and 11, it has to be. Okay, this is the part, but also I have to remind you about this one. When you are finding the y cube, it, you should multiply y times y squared, which is equal to, which is equal to 0, 1, 2, and minus 3, to the power times, I am sorry, times, y squared, which is equal to 2, minus 3, and minus 6, and 11, it should be. Okay, then, 2 and minus 3, okay, there's no mistake, I'm controlling one more time. Okay, then, ladies and gentlemen, here, to remind you about, let me highlight this one, and here, this one, I forget, but, you know, the rule. So 0 times 2 is equal to 2, it should be, and, pardon, 0, it should be, 0, and 1 times minus 6 is equal to minus 6. 0 times minus 3 is equal to 0, 1 times 11 is equal to 11, it should be. Okay, 2 times 2 is equal to 4, minus 3 times minus 6 is equal to my, uh, plus 18. 2 times minus 3 is equal to minus 6. Minus 3 times 11 is equal to minus 33. It has to be. So, y cube is equal to minus 6, 11, 22, and minus 39. It has to be. Okay, I'm going to continue with the next example. Here in this example, a is given, and they are asking a to the power of 206, but it's not easy to find a to the power of 206 by multiplying uh, a by itself. So there should be some trick here, and generally we are using the identity matrix for this kind of questions. I'm going to explain how we are going to use the identity matrix. But to start to solve this kind of questions, we are going to uh, we are going to get the square or third power of the matrix till the time to find the identity matrix. By the way, as I mentioned before, in this question, we are going to use the powers of the matrix, like a square, I'm going to find what it is. Then I'm going to try to catch after these operations, identity matrix, because if I get the identity matrix, we are going to find this one, i to the power of n, it's going to be equal to i, and it's going to be easy to calculate the a to the power of 206 for me. Okay, let's continue with the a square firstly. a square is equal to 0, 3, 2, and 0 it's going to be. And then this is equal to 0, 3, 2, and 0 again. Then if we cross the multiply 0 times, actually not cross the multiply, I'm sorry, I'm using the term, but we are not multiplying closely. 0 times 0 is equal to 0. 3 times 2 is equal to plus 6. And 0 times zero, zero times 3 is equal to 0. 3 times 0 is equal to uh, 0, it should be. 
2 times 0 is equal to 0, 0 times 2 is equal to 0, it has to be, 2 times 3 is equal to 6, and 0 times 0, it should be equal to 0. Okay, I got the a square here, and I recognize that this is equal to 6, 0, 0, and 6, which is color matrix. And if you get the six parentheses here, if you multiply the by color, you know you are multiplying each entry. So I get the entry outside, and uh, that makes six times one, zero, zero, and one. And then I got six to the six times i. As I mentioned before, six times i is important for us because when you get the uh, hundred um, and two hundred sixty power. Uh, it means that you are going to get the power of this one and it's going to be easy to calculate us for calculating the 206. Let me explain here what I mean one more time. You know that a square can be written in terms of a to the power of a to the power of 206 and the power is here. Power is here. It should be equal to it should be equal to 103. How did I get this number? I got dividing by 2. So, a to the power of 2 to the power of 103. It should be equal to a to the power of 206. Okay, this implies that I'm going to find a square to the power of a to the power of. Uh, let me write this one like this. It might be better. So, a to the power of 206 is equal to a to the power of 2 to the power of 103 it should be and that's equal to 6 times i to the power of 103 it should be and you know uh, from the rules I can write with different color here a to the power of n to the power of a times pardon a a times b to the power of n it can be equal to a to the power of n times b to the power of n which means that here, if I apply here, it's going to be equal to 6 to the power of 103 times i to the power of 103. And then I'm going to apply another rule here, which is this one. i to the power of n is equal to i to the power of i to the power of n is equal to i, which means that I'm going to here get this expression again i for me. And this is 6 to the power of 103, it should be times i, which means that I am going to rewrite the matrix form i, i, 6 to the power of 103 times, it's equal to 1, 0, 0, 1, which is equal to here, as you see, it's going to be equal to uh, a to the power of 206, it should be equal to, when you multiply by scalar, you are going to multiply by each entry, 6 to the power of 103, it's going to be, this is going to be 0, 6 times 6 to the power of 103 times 1, 6 to the power of 103 times 0, 0. Times 0, 0. And times 1, it's equal to 6 to the power of 103. It has to be, and this is the answer of the question it should be.